It's one of our games of the week this week in the semifinal round of the high school football playoffs, and it's in Class 3A with the Jackson Bronx going to Douglas to face the Bearcats and kind of have to join me as the head coach of the Jackson Bronx, David Joyce. And, Coach, thanks so much for your uh, some time. And, boy, did your team explode or what last week? 75 points. Uh, did you save any for this week, Coach? <laughs> I hope I did. I hope we saved something. Um you know they were they were clicking they were clicking last week and so hope, hopefully we can continue that uh, that trend. Well, talk a little bit about what you take away from that performance that you feel like you can build on going on the road in the semifinals. Well, we you know we played a really tough defense in Cody, and uh, we know that more than likely we're going to have to if we're going to win it all, we're going to have to we're going to have to play Cody or Star Valley twice to win it all, and so we kind of held. I want to say we kind of had a little back against Cody and Star Valley the first time we played them. Um, you know, so when we did that, we didn't have to, to do that as much against Buffalo. And so we kind of just turned it loose a little bit and opened the throttle. And, you know, it just kind of kind of clicked a little bit. Since I haven't had a chance to talk with you, what do you feel like has been the biggest successful part of this season to this point for your team? What, what have you liked in terms of your team's play? Well, we're balanced. You know, in the past we've been kind of run heavy. And this year, uh, you know, we're averaging about 500 yards of offense, but, you know, we're averaging about 300 passing, 200 rushing. And so we're pretty balanced. And then we got, you know, a receiver at 1,000 yards, a couple receivers at like 700 yards. And so, you know, we can spread it around to where we have a lot of weapons that you have to – you can't take everything away from us is, is the hardest thing. And so in years past when we were run heavy, you know – um, sometimes you can make us one-dimensional by taking away our run game, and this year I don't think I don't think teams are are capable of taking all our weapons away from us. It sounded like Brody Hasnack had a little bit of a, a breakout performance where he was still running well, but maybe last week against Buffalo kind of uh, burst back onto the scene. It sounded like. Yeah, I mean Brody's Brody. You know he we could you know he had two thousand yards last year. He could he could have had two thousand yards this year. Um, we just we just knew that if we wanted to win it all, we were going to have to be balanced. And in years past, you know, uh, teams would sell out to really just stop Jake and Cox and Brody Hasnax in the playoffs, and and it kind of hindered our offense. And so Brody knew coming into this year that he wouldn't possibly he, he probably wouldn't get as many touches, but he would get better touches when he got it. And so that's kind of what's happened. You know, we could have I could have popped Brody off with thirty or forty carries. His his average yards per carry is, is better this year than it's been in years past. We just haven't been running the ball as much. Well, talk about Sadler, uh, an impressive quarterback you've got there. Yeah, you know, Sadler, you know, I hate that he doesn't allow 3A to count stats for zero week, even though it's a real game. It just makes zero sense. If, uh, if they counted zero week stats, he's about 100 yards off of the all-time state record. You know, right now he's on pace to break it average and we make it to the finals but you know he's averaging about 300 yards a game and uh just real savvy tough kid um you know and he he's a game changer you know with the amount of knowledge and stuff that we put on him he is he's tough to handle back there well let's talk about your defense we talked a lot of offense what about your defense what are you seeing on that side of the ball well we you know we sell out to stop the run and we've done a good job of that for the majority of the year um, of just running the team's ability to run on us. And when you do that, you kind of force them to be one-dimensional. And in high school football, you know, it's hard to win just, just throwing the football. And so, you know, we've done a really good job of, you know, holding the line and uh, forcing teams to to throw, the, to throw the football sort of to beat us. And hopefully we can, we can continue that against Douglas because they've got a really good – you know, rushing attack, and they've got skill players and speed, and so hopefully we can, you know, just uh, bottle them up a little bit and force them to, to pass a little bit. Well, you talked about the Bearcats. I was going to ask you, what are your impressions of this year's version of Jay Rhodes' squad? It's, you know, they got a lot of team speed, but it's it's weird because we're sitting in the all-conference, all-state meeting last year, we're going around the round table, and Cody said, oh, well, we got just about everybody done. Well, we got just about it right back. And I was like, yeah, we're returning a bunch. <laughs> and so it feels like we're going deja vu here uh, a little bit because I see the same team just, you know, with seniors. And uh, it's kind of like us. we got basically the same guys just a year older. And so, 
you know, they've got really good team speed. They're well coast. They're sound in the, you know, all phases of the game. And, and uh, you know, the, it's a good football team that we're going to have to just uh, play good to beat them, uh, you know. And, uh, it, it, like I said, it's, you know, we're, <laughs> we're going back down there for the second year in a row, and, and it's a lot of familiar faces so to speak yeah I was gonna say it is deja vu because you were able to win this game at Douglas last year so what does it take from your standpoint to win this game this year on Friday a lot of things got to go away you know uh, I I think if any team is on like you know like we were on Friday and I don't know if I think we could beat any team in the state Friday you know the way that we were playing I mean everything was just clicking you know uh, when you have 700 yards of offense and I mean, it was just rolling. But if a team's on, you know, I think it's going to be hard for that team to beat, Douglas included. So, you know, I think that if if teams are, you know, playing each other and both are playing good, then you need some lucky breaks in the the semis, you know. Uh, It it seems like every team that advances seems to get, you know, just something that goes their way early on that kind of creates some momentum that they can carry the rest of the game. And, uh, you know, we, we need to create some turnovers early in the game. And then we need a big play, whether it be in the run game or the pass game. And I think if we get some momentum early, then you can kind of build on that. But when you're on the road, you especially need it because it's going to be a hostile crowd. Um, but ultimately, you know, when you have a team like Douglas and a team like Jackson that has so many seniors, it's going to be a four-quarter, you know, heavyweight match, just like Star Valley earlier in the year. Cody, you know, a few weeks ago, when you got all those seniors out there, they don't want to go home. And so mm-hmm. – you know, it's going to be a fourth quarter game. Well, I wish you nothing but the best of luck on Friday at uh, Douglas, and perhaps we'll see you next week in Laramie. All right, thanks. Continuing the conversation and time to talk with Douglas head coach Jay Rhodes. And, Jay, we talked last month before the Buffalo game. You guys were in a good spot. You won that game. You've continued on. Coming off the big playoff win last week against Powell, what did that show you about your team uh, having to battle so hard against a, a really good team that beat you earlier in the season? Uh, you know, I kind of think it showed the resiliency of our team. Uh, you know, we got a couple players back uh, that we didn't have when we played them the first time, and those two were definitely difference makers for us. Uh, you know, Kelton Ewing, we didn't have him, and he rushed for over 200 yards uh, the other night. And uh, so that that was a big help coming back. And then Kobe Case was out in that game too, and, and he's just been a, a really good for us blocking on the edge and, and really a lot of the reason that, that uh, Kelton had the yard that he did along with along with the play of our offensive line was was uh it was good too um better than what we had like that last week at Warland so they they improved in that week and I think that all kind of you know came together and and uh help us get that win um we made it a little bit harder on ourselves than we needed to you know we missed a couple field goals uh we found the end zone going in um you know, so we we feel like we left a lot of points on the field against Powell. So, um, you know, even though you, you see the close score and everything, I think that game was a little bit, uh, you, you know, I think we we, um, we dominated a little bit more in that game than what the score shows. Um, so I think that we feel good about that going forward. Uh, we just really need to eliminate some mistakes and, and uh, some penalties, some costly penalties and, and – uh, uh, and then hopefully we'll be ready to roll with Jackson. Lo and behold, you're in the same spot you were a year ago uh, as Jackson comes to you in the semifinals. What's got to happen to kind of flip the script this time around, I guess, from your perspective, Jay? Well, you know, I feel like we played them pretty well last year. Um, we, we struggled a little bit offensively uh, to move the ball, and, and so I think it's definitely, uh, you know, scheming a little bit different that uh, – uh, we take advantage of some things that maybe we didn't have didn't last year, um, you know. And then I, I think the play of our defense uh, this year is a little bit stronger than last year. So, uh, you know, hopefully we can get after them a little bit and and uh, and have a little bit better defensive game and and hopefully change. You know, like you say, flip the script and and. Uh, to to have us come out on top this time. So, but you know, Jackson's a, a good team. They've got some great athletes, um, you know, and and we, we've got to be come out and be ready to play. I was going to ask you about Jackson. Man, they put up seventy five points in the first round on a pretty solid Buffalo team. Uh, what are your impressions of what Coach Joyce's squad is looking like right now? 
Well, I think that's kind of it. They're really explosive and, and they can score quick. Um, you know, I, I'm not sure if they got stopped on any possessions. Uh, so that's definitely going to be, uh, you know, a key for us is, is uh, you know, not letting them control the ball and, uh, and, and you know, score on every possession. So, um you know, I, I feel like our, our game with Buffalo, uh, you know, we maybe could have done the, the same thing. Uh, we were rolling pretty well in that game, um, you know, but uh, we just we know that Jackson's explosive and, and they can score. Uh, they can score at, at any time, really. Well, what's got to happen to tip the scales in your favor, do you believe, on Friday? I think getting some stops on defense. Uh, right. I think the play of our defense is going to be the key uh, to to uh, to getting past them, and then just being consistent on offense and, and and eliminate some penalties. And I think we'll be fine. Best of luck to you on Friday afternoon, and perhaps we'll see you next week in Laramie. All right, sounds good.